Double J's Unearthed. Tell us a bit about that. And when, when did this take place? Um, well, gee, look, that's a long time ago now. Um, I think that um, the first time we heard ourselves on the radio on Triple J, we were in the car um, and we were going to a party. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that's kind of a, that was a, a nice little moment because I, I know that the um, uh, same thing happened to Chuck Berry when he was first played on the radio and also the Beach Boys they were in the car as well um, and <laughs> yeah the song came on and, uh, and that was it and since then it's, Triple J has been really really fantastic because um, as I was saying before we, it, it, we couldn't go to places like um, all over Australia without that support Yeah. so yeah it's exciting that was an exciting time yeah, they're great with supporting up-and-coming bands um, yeah. throughout Australia for many years. A, a couple of years ago, Garage TV competition, you guys actually won that. Yeah, that's right. Um, that, was, uh, that was another memorable night. Um, we went up to Sydney and they put us up in a penthouse uh, in the World Tower. I'm liking the sound and, of this. And, um, <laughs> yeah, we... we you know, it was, just, it was one, of, one of those things where we kind of knew we were the best band there and we were going to win, and that's what happened. We just went out there and just played our songs and, you know, we were so confident about them. And, and, and yeah, and then we went on to the um, V Festival tour. So that was, that was uh, before we even had an album out, I think. Um, so another really really good experience and you know we, we got to play with um queens of the stone age and smashing pumpkins and all these amazing bands so, so i'm guessing uh, these would have been bands that you would have looked up to prior to even forming little red oh yeah absolutely um smashing pumpkins is the first concert i went to um in 1996 oh wait could have been a couple of years later than that yeah um but yeah that was in melbourne and yeah, quite surreal to to see them, to watch them play from side of stage. Pretty cool. Speaking of festivals, actually, you've performed at the Pyramid Rock Festival, uh, the Laneway Festival, also the Big Day Out and Splendor in the Grass. You, you've yeah. got to fill us in on some of those performances and what goes on at these festivals. Uh, the festival circuit is amazing because um, you know you get to. Uh, you get to see, well, you know, see um, other exciting bands and you learn a lot from it. And, um, you know, Big Day Out, we're on the bill for the next Big Day Out. And, um, you know, it's going to be hot and big crowds. And, um, it's just, I, don't, I can't describe it, really. Yeah, that's um, in January, isn't it? That's right, yeah. yeah. It's always stinking hot every, every year, 40 degrees. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. wouldn't have you wouldn't have it any other way, Adrian. Absolutely not, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I'm speaking with Adrian from uh, Little Red, a, a five-piece band from Melbourne. They've got their new single out, Rocket, and also uh, their new album is Midnight Remember. Now they're performing at the Uni Bar here in Wollongong on Wednesday, October six. So keep that in mind. Adrian, we mentioned a little bit earlier musical influences uh, with you. I, I think it's quite eclectic from the sound of it. Who would, would be some of your biggest musical influences? Oh, uh, look, it's so hard to even begin. I don't want to leave anyone out, you know. But, um, uh, <laughs> you know, when we started the band, it was, um, it was a, there was a big Beach Boys influence and the Beatles and Stones, all those classic 60s band stuff. But... Um, uh, you know, we're, uh, you know, we're into, we've, we've tried to incorporate a, something a bit more sonic on the new album. Um, and, uh, and, you know, and there's also like a singer songwriter, um, element to it. So, you know, like everyone's very, very into Dylan and, um, uh, Tom Waits and all that sort of stuff. Just, you know, I think like good music, it's, um, you, can't really uh, well there's something wrong with you you know if you're not if you can't appreciate certain um, artists you know like a clash or something like that if, if someone says they, they don't get it or um, I can't really understand that yeah. and you know we don't 
we don't sound anything like the Beach Boys, for instance, but it's just such beautiful music yep. and personal music that, um, uh, you know, it is, it's, it's, a, it's a very, um, uh, oh, what, how can I say it? You know, it's something that's just like the most important thing really in our lives, listening to the music and just um, absorbing as much as you can from everything, really. Have you got a favourite Little Red song, one that really stands out for you? Yeah, I like, on the new album, the last song um, called Chelsworth um, is probably my favourite to play. Um, it's, uh, that's a bit of a sort of a Van Morrison Astral Week vibe, Yeah, uh, that one, and um, sort, of, sort of like an Irish uh, thing. <laughs> Um, you know, one of Dom's Irish songs. It used to be called Irish song, I think. And it's just about going to the park and drinking in the park and that sort of thing. And, um, that's that's a really special one for me to play because, um, you know, we grew up in the suburbs and um, spent a lot of our time at Chelsworth Park. I was going to say, it sounds it's like real, it's bringing it's back real, memories. <laughs> it's a real place, yeah. And it's, got, it's a lot of memory. A bit like there. Strawberry Fields for the Beatles. Yeah. Exactly. That sort of thing. Like that. Yeah. Hey, just, just before I let you go, any advice for up-and-coming bands with the experience of what you guys have been through? I think um, just to uh, concentrate on the songwriting is really is the, is the most important thing because without songs you can't do anything. Uh, <laughs> doesn't matter how cool they look, whatever. <laughs> uh, you could be a cover but, band. Um, well, yeah, yeah, and they make probably more money than we do. Uh, <laughs> But um, that, and, and also just getting out, and, um, and uh, I know in Melbourne it's um, really lots of opportunities for bands to play live, um, and there's just so many pubs that you can play at, and you just got to get out there and um, make friends with other bands and just um, keep improving and practicing. Okay, bit of networking. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Adrian from a band called Little Red. Their new album is Midnight Remember. Their new single is Rocket. They're playing at the Uni Bar Wednesday, October 6. Now, tickets are available from the Uni Shop, Redback Music, and also Oz Ticks. Adrian, thanks so much for your time, mate. No worries. Thank you. And all the best with everything with Little Red. Cheers. Thanks a lot. See you later. See ya.